So this is another one of the uh, more popular monuments. This is Jasper Monument. Um, one of the freedom fighters here in the Savannah area. Um, you can see here people walking around here taking uh, taking pictures and uh, it's a really nice little park within the city of Savannah. Um, the block goes around, it's all a one-way street, almost like a big roundabout. There's always tour buses going around also, like that one there. And uh, this is definitely one of the nicer parks that you'll see here in Savannah. And uh, there's also a really nice church to go visit right over there on the other side of the monument. And we're about to go to another church. This is a Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist here in Savannah. Beautiful architecture. You just don't find this in most cities, especially out west. <laughs> but uh, we're about to go inside. stained glass work. There are no windows that you can totally see through. It's all stained glass. So if you see bright lights coming through, it's actually a stained glass window. Directly above us on the opposite side. Once we don't see it, is the uh, pipe organ. something stunning to see. You just said this was known as the Sistine Chapel of the South. <laughs> this is iconic Savannah. You can see the, uh, the Spanish moss hanging off the trees. And we are on this is Abercorn, I think it is. And Abercorn's very long, and so you've got a lot of this. It almost looks like a tunnel. The way the moss hangs over the trees, and the trees hang over the road. Pretty cool. It's uh, it's worth just uh, driving around uh, Savannah just to just to kind of see some of this. There's lots of little streets like this that have this 
look to it, but this is definitely iconic. Nice. Yeah, you scan your card and it takes, charges you. Speak clean. Yeah. I can send that. a video to your mother. Laundry's easy. The life skills. It tells you have to be laundry. Let's look at the elevator since we're on the third floor. Yeah, vacuums. That's freaking cool. Vacuum chamber rooms, little yes. side spaces. We had those in Norse, but they didn't work. You had that many of them either? Yeah, one <laughs> there's like one per, there eight. One there's a bunch of them. I don't know. How to close I can get to that? Neat. This is a second floor and this is one of the other rooms. Her, um, down here on this side here is the classroom, and this would be the lab room here, one of the labs. That's the prep room. Yeah, the prep room. room. Yeah, so I'll be teaching chemistry in the other room probably, and this one would be lab for chem. Nice little waiting area, overlooks the courtyard, and that's yeah, the extension of building five there, I think. Unless I got turned around. Yeah, that piece there is, there's building, another piece of building five there, and on the other side of that is another classroom she's got. So it's pretty close. So this is the pier at Tybee Island. Um, you can see it, slow down enough, you can see the, it's actually late in the day, so that's why it looks kind of hazy out there, because it's, well, it's kind of dark. nice um, there's a uh, it's an awful big pier it's concrete what I'm standing on it's not wood and then uh, it goes on out this way here you can see the rest of the pier as it goes on out that way okay we're going to take a walk down have a go using the restroom now um, that's, the, that's the beach there tell you it's a beautiful day out it's actually really humid um, earlier today was 97 plus humidity so it was pretty miserable just to go from store to store uh, but it's uh, it's much nicer now it's a nice breeze out it's probably about I'd say it's about 85 out here now and it's uh, almost nine o'clock uh, we're gonna take ourselves a walk out there and see what's shaking so she looks stupid so, didn't realize this is a video instead of a picture huh? yeah so we're out here at the end of the pier and uh, you can see it's uh, lots of people fishing out here. Hopefully you can't hear the music in the background or they'll non-monetize me. I hate when that happens. You get out here away from this, this building here I was just standing behind and it uh, the wind starts picking up. That's the way back on the land. It's still a beautiful day. And uh, you should come out here if you get a chance. Here, this is Tybee Island, Georgia. Just outside of uh, Savannah, Tybee Island. So here we are back at the beach. Hopefully you're not getting too much uh, wind noise. Well, just me and the girl today. <laughs> but uh, we're here at Hilton Head Island. This is uh, Caligny. He's called Caligny. Caligny Park. Uh, here at Hilton Head. Uh, they got a lot of shopping on the other side. We'll be going to that in just a little bit. About 12 miles up the road are some Tanger Outlets. So they got lots of shopping. But uh, here on the beach, it's about noon. Low tide is at uh, about three, so we got the, the tide is actually going out. The place is pretty crowded. They do have a rule here going on right now due to the COVID-19. They got a rule that uh, if you go into any business, you must wear a mask. Not walking on the sidewalk or obviously driving your car or out here on the beach, but if you go into any business, 
uh, you must wear a mask. So that's a bit of a pain, but that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll try to play it safe and, and abide by the rules of the of the state. But uh, that's the other way down there. That's actually the north end down there. Some people would call it. Uh, I guess the way George or South Carolina sits, that would be either that would be the northeast end down there. That would be the southwest end down there. But the nice beach. Um, a lot of people behind me are the big umbrellas. They're all, they're all set up for high tide. <laughs> so we're set up here for low tide. Uh, get outside. There's still a lot to see. You don't have to sit cooped up in your house all the time. Uh, from for me, uh, this is, would be about a four and a half hour drive from my house. But drive four and a half hours, you can spend the day, spend the next day, maybe spend the night, find a good cheap hotel or someplace to stay, and or stay in an RV would be even better. And then uh, turn around and head back to the house. But anyway, have a good time out here at Hilton Head Island. Boy, oh boy, sure was a hot day out there on the beach. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Hot day on the beach is better than a cold day at work, right? <laughs> I suppose it is. Uh, well, we're about to get packed up and uh, head back to good old Columbus, GA on the other side of the state. We're going to kind of take our time, probably get back there about 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or whatever. No big hurry, but uh, we are going to head back that way. But uh, had a good time and uh, hope if you get a chance to come over here to Hilton Head Island, you get a chance to go over to uh, Caligny uh, Beach. It's really nice, really good access. One thing I was really impressed with was they've got one of those mats that you can roll out. So if you've got someone who's um, in who's wheelchair bound it's a little, little easier to get them out on the beach you especially want to go at low tide or maybe just an hour or two before low tide low tide today was about three o'clock and we got there about noon so uh, right now it's at really low tide so uh, but you can roll them out on those black mats or blue mats I guess they are and you don't have very far till you get some solid sand so you don't have to push it through a whole bunch of other kind of sand there's also this uh, little half moon shape here that I'm parked in now that uh, allows you to drop people off and pick them up pretty close uh, to your car so then you can go park and basically provide them curb service here so it makes getting in and out of it pretty easy uh, and there's also some shopping not far from here so once you get a place to park there's a piggly wiggly and all kinds of other little shops uh, nearby here everything's real well done with uh, the uh, walking trails and bicycle trails all around this place they've done a really good job with it you can tell it's a playing community uh, but Hilton Head Island, if you ever get a chance to come out here, definitely make a stop and spend the day. Because uh, we're just out here trying to live the coolest. <laughs> this is another one of the <clears throat> more popular places to stay. <clears throat> Let me say this again. Hmm.